Welcome to the freaking weekend, everybody. Hope you are having a great start to your weekend. And of course, joining me, Joffrey Benson. He is here today, <laughs> rolling his eyes already. It's going to be a good podcast. Two when Jeff is already rolling his eyes for the five seconds in, I'm on it's a, a good I'm podcast. on a warpath today. I'm just throwing it out there right now. <laughs> We're going to get to- two things that will will uh, apparently you're incapable of uh, changing to open the podcast are my saying my name wrong and <laughs> saying the name of our podcast as oh, the freaking weekend. See, what do you, so ha- so from now on, hi, to- welcome to the freaking weekend. I'm no, Jackie Lucas. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing the robotic voice anymore. I'm not going to be that person. I never was. But okay, can you say it like want- say it like a different person every week. Like, can you do like Christopher Walken? <laughs> Hello, like, welcome the, the to freaking the freaking weekend. <laughs> we should actually. I will do that. I one thousand percent would be. Okay. Hello, Good. welcome to the freaking weekend. Was it Mrs. Doubtfire at first? You are. Hello, we're back in Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost my voice. So I have to apologize to everybody. It actually sounds a lot better today than it did yesterday and a couple days ago where literally my family was like she can't yell at us this is amazing and everything so I have a little cold and then between that and cheering for my kids playing sports on the field because I'm very passionate I completely lost my voice so if I sound a little funny that's why and there's some irony in this because (laughs) Jackie um did a podcast this week, not not the, not TFW, um, another podcast because I mean I, clearly we we have revitalized and rejuvenated Jackie's career, and everybody just <laughs> wants a piece of her right now. So she went another podcast, which you was were ironically so upset about that. <laughs> f- <a> funny <laughs> story, I'll tell you later. But anyway, right. um, no, but it was about drinking the tea. And Spill, spilling what, the tea, spilling and drinking the tea, the tea. and what's we drank to be, wine and spilled the tea. Actually. Clearly, That's you didn't happened. drink tea because you don't have a voice. <laughs> well, thankfully, we recorded that podcast, the Long Island. Uh, so it's Long Island Tea Podcast. Right. Right. Um, before I lost my voice, but like I will tell you. These are the ladies that like run Discover Long Island, which is like Long awesome. Island's go-to tourism center. Awesome. And they are just the most strong, uplifting, amazing women and so inviting. And I had the best time and they're going to eventually come on our podcast, which we're going to set that up in the near future. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, it was it was great. They reached out because they loved our podcast and everything and apparently they loved me more than you. So I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. But did you even listen to the podcast? I listened to a little bit of it. Yeah. Did I, you, I, we talked about you. Did you get to that point? I didn't get to that point. Oh. Um you, you and you, you know why I haven't had time to completely listen to it. I will tomorrow. I hundred percent will. Um, not that I couldn't, uh, listen to it, uh, while I'm working because I am working from home this week because, uh, we're in a little, little kind of mini lockdown because, um, wife and kid have COVID. And so just as a precaution for work, even though I've had it in the past three months and I'm triple vaxxed and everything like that, I think it's uh, out of an abundance of caution that works having me work from home. But, um, I still (laughs) have had like no time for anything, even without the commute. It's just insane. And I know we'll talk about that a little bit, but, uh, back to the No, I mean, let's, I mean, let's, no, 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 no. I would just oh, listen. It? it was we're just a little shout out. Now we're into it because I, I just, you know, right. It's the Rona is still, you know, here and it's still there. It, it's not going anywhere. It is. Clearly. It's not going anywhere. And um, you had it in January. So did all five of us. My family had it in January as well. Um, right. And then Jojo and Aubrey had. This was the second time they had COVID because they had COVID. Um, December 2020, like right. going into Christmas and New Year's. Right. So we're like pros at this COVID thing, but I can't <laughs> even imagine you had it in January. Your yes. how old was Luca when you you had COVID? He was like he was months. only like oh yeah like yeah I was like gonna say months. October super, November super. December no th- no right like three three months and a 
10 days. Which was like super that. scary because you, yes. <laughs> it's funny because I didn't remember because I apparently had so much going on in my life that I apologize uh, through text message um, with you Fine. that um, you stayed at, because out of an abundance of caution and just to protect your family, you stayed with a friend for Who had it around days. the same time. It was just yeah. worked out that way. And so, so you had a COVID party at your friend's house. Yeah, we, we <laughs> COVID slumber parties. We did. Uh, we did watch a, um, that was the week I, I, uh, I started watching Ted Lasso because he had Apple plus Apple TV plus, and I didn't have that. And I was like, Oh my God, the show's so great. Um, I need to see that. I heard that's a great show. Yeah, no, it was, listen, it wasn't, I've had upper respiratory infections that frankly were worse, but, uh, I hate not being able to breathe and like having my nose completely, the sinuses all, it was not fun towards the end. Uh, I definitely needed, uh, to be heavily medicated at the end, but was I ever in fear that it would be anything more than that? No. But uh, as you were saying, babies, now that's kind of a misnomer because everyone says, oh yeah, kids, they do fine. Babies, they eat COVID for breakfast. No big no, deal. No, but when when you have a baby that's like three months and the whole point right. is to not get the baby sick and have right. a, fe- and if the baby gets a fever over 100.3, which I think is. He had you know, 103 don't- last week. One hundred, well, one hundred and three. I'm saying anything more than that. Point three when you're like three oh. months, which is very. That's when you're supposed to like be very concerned. Correct. After the three month threshold, you know, I'm not saying thank goodness Luca's six seven months now, but like, but he's got a little bit more immunity in yeah. him. And I know you. He had a fever, and yeah. Lana was sick. So how how's your fam? How is everybody feeling? How are they doing? So. Today, I mean, obviously today is we're the, we're the furthest away uh, since they've got it last week. So this is the best they feel now. Luca's be, been a champ. It was tough to see him so sad and out of it last week. He had the hundred and three, not hundred point three, hundred and three and three. Yeah, fever. Anything more than that, we probably were going to the hospital. But uh, Tylenol helped, broke it down. Um, and he didn't really have anything that high as we went into the week. He never really seemed to develop any other symptoms. But that fever, you know, is scary. It's scary. Yeah, especially um, first child fever. Yeah. Corona now, and in a pandemic, in a, you yeah. know. In a- Speaking of Christopher Walken, <laughs> I got a fever. And the only prescription <laughs> is baby Tylenol. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, he seemed to, he, he took it like a champ mm-hmm. to the point where now at this point, I, I can't tell if he's not feeling well because of the virus or if he's not feeling well because his teeth are coming in, which is a good problem to have or a good confusion to have. Um, Lana did not get it boosted yet. So she, she had, I don't know if she lost it, but she had like a weird point over the weekend where she was like, this doesn't taste like we had like, I think it was like Buffalo pizza. So I mean, Buffalo sauce, very distinct, sharp flavor. And she was like, I feel like this doesn't taste how it should. So there could have been, there could have been something to that. Um, well, yeah. I mean, and she still got some sinus <laughs> stuff and she's still testing positive. Uh, and I said, it could, it could take a week. It could take more, but, uh, I think we're, uh, we're in the home stretch here. So that has left me who has been testing negative this whole time. I, I think if I had never gotten it in January, there's no way I would have avoided it this time oh, short absolutely. of yeah. going and staying with a friend or doing something like that. Um, but I, I really think that's a <laughs> testament to uh, the fact that I had it so recently. So my body is probably, you know, all antibodied up and uh, there's probably a, a degree who knows, maybe it got inside me and immediately the body shut it down. It said, no, no, I know you out. You're done. Um, but yeah, that's what you'd just, hope. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I know, I, know, I listen, I know lots of people who have got it multiple times. I'm talking two, three. I think I even met one person who had it four times, like how's wow. it even possible? But, um, yeah, so clearly well, you can get it multiple times, but I, I my just kids have got it twice. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's different strands too. Yeah. Um, fortunately, the things that have been going around now have tended to be more on the mild side, but that. That doesn't matter for if you're an elderly person and it doesn't matter if you're a baby under one. That's, you know, again, kids, yes, um, with all the science and research that we have on this now, limited as it still may be, yes, they do better. But then you get under one years old and they almost kind of fall into that higher risk because they literally are 
infants and they have no immune system. Um, I also feel pretty good that um, there were some antibodies probably floating around in the breast milk um, because Lana uh, had the shot um, after delivery. And so it, it probably produced something. And who knows? Maybe that helped. Maybe that was a big reason why he, he, you know, he had the fever and he didn't develop other stuff. Who knows? Who really? Who knows? No. Um, there's just, so, you know, you do the research you can. You, you do what you think is best for your family. And that's all you can really do. So. Absolutely. But the the best part about this is if you didn't think Jeff was a hot mess dad before COVID. <laughs> well, put him in charge of. Going and running errands, and he, you were like I, losing your mind today. A little bit. I, you know what it is? <laughs> I'm just so exhausted. I mean, I've reached the point of like, he's like, I don't have a second to myself. I'm like, welcome to parenthood. And he's like, yeah. but you've had eight years of experience, which is really nine because JoJo's nine. But I'm like, it doesn't get any easier. And you have one baby, and I have three kids. And like, right. You know, <laughs> but, but I guarantee that I'm going to get better. I, I've already, I've, you should see how much I've improved since day one. I mean, we're not even talking like a linear relationship here. We're talking like an exponential relationship. Like, I am so much better than I was. Like, literally, I can change diapers, do this, like multitask all at the same time, carrying him in one hand and doing this in the other hand. I can do that. So I guarantee I'm going to, it may, it may level off. I'm sure it will, but it's going to get better. But like you but said, it probably won't get easier. I'll, no, I'll just it's not be getting gonna get better. Any easier. It, you know, it, it'll be a new curveball, and I'll adapt to it. And then there'll be a this curveball, and I'll adapt to it. I think I'm gonna get better, based on what I've seen so far. But we'll see. <laughs> the self evaluation of of Geoffrey. I mean, his- yes, and then you throw on top of it. I have to do. I have to go to the stores because they can't go out. So- what were you doing for like almost four hours? What stores were you going to? I'm like, I, you're still out. What are you doing? Listen, well, I got I all did, the time in the day I, now. So I, it wasn't a true four hours because I didn't leave the, the second after I was done with work like I wanted to. I did some stuff around here, so it was probably more like three hours. But uh, one of the stores I went to was like 35 minutes away because uh, there's like only one of them on Long Island. And you ever been to a tractor supply store? A what? <laughs> These are, sorry, I put myself on mute because the dogs are gonna what? start fighting again. Oh my goodness, boys, boys, boys! I'm, it's boys, mean, and, boys gr- and no, girls, it's grandma but- and baby fighting right now. That is what it is. Like, and it never fails in the middle of this podcast. They don't do it all week. Be annoying. Right? Okay, so I have never been to a what did you say? A tractor, tractor store. Supply- so I'm gonna mute myself tractor and you store. explain this. Go for it. <laughs> um, not the tractor store, um, the tractor supply, I think it's tractor supply company, TSC, right? Tractor supply. Yeah. Tractor supply. Anyway, it is, um, it's almost like a more like farmy version of a Home Depot. Um, they sell live chicks, baby chicks there. They have the little incubators and they have all these cute little chicks. They were so cute and fluffy. Um, and Lana was like, please bring me home some. And I said, where are we going to? I don't have a chicken coop. I can't put them anywhere. I get it. Um, but yeah, uh, they have a lot more kind of like farm type stuff that you couldn't buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and we needed some some of these big mats to put down in our basement. Um, and so they have stall mats there, which I guess would go in like a stable or, or something like that. So we I had to pick them up there and they're very heavy and they're really smelly and they're still in the car. And as soon as we're done here, I got to go out and drag them out by myself uh, and put them somewhere. But um, that was just one of my many stops. I had to get cat food for Walter because we're emergency, you know, kind of forgot to order him more on Chewy. So I had to get that. Um, had to pick up food, had to pick up milk last minute. Uh, so I, today was kind of like the do all stuff. Cause I was like, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have time the rest of the week. So that was, uh, that was my day in a abbreviated nutshell. I'm still confused. Wait, what, <laughs> what, what mats? What? For what? They're Explain like, this again? they're like a, I don't know, like some kind of rubber composite mats. They're like cushions. For they're what? For our basement, which is unfinished. Oh, what? Okay. Why? 
So just, we don't the baby's have not going to gonna go down there when well, right. It's not just like, for the baby; it's for us too. So we don't have to walk on concrete and put like, shoes on. <laughs> not always an option. You have the wash yeah. the washer and dryer downstairs. We do. Or? We do. So we're down there a lot. Yeah. Um. Mm. I I just got some weights too that that I set up down there. So that's another reason. Yeah, that's right. Working out. No more driving to East Northport to work out. No, no, or? I still go to. I'm still. I'm still going over to uh, Larkfield. By the way, um, oh, maybe he'll give me a discount for this, but I'm going to shout him out anyway. Uh, if you're looking for <laughs> something in the, uh, yeah, if we're looking for something in the uh, East Northport, Northport, Green Lawn area, I mean, I've met some people that have come from way further than that, but it's a great little spot. It just uh, opened up. His name is Russ. Uh, by the way, I have in my phone is Russ Barbell. So now I'm convinced his last name is Barbell. Um, <laughs> but it's a, bar, it's, a, it's, it's a barbell club. So lift, uh, so bench press, squatting, deadlifting. Uh, they have like a yoga studio built into you. Uh, they have uh, someone who does practice physical therapy there because there's guys in there that are not just, you know, lifting and working out there. You know, I, you can see them at the corner of your eye. They're doing like calisthenics and like stretching and stuff like that. It's kind of a one stop shop. And, um, they just opened, so I know they have some deals going on. Definitely uh, check it out. I'm telling you, the barbell like life, squat, bench, deadlift, that it's kind of changed everything for me. I was someone who could, I always, it was like, oh yeah, January 1st, gonna gonna get into it this year, gonna the get new it. year. Yeah. Get it, yeah. Uh, and then COVID hit, and I just kind of really let myself go, and I wasn't, I wasn't happy with the state of affairs. And doing this has been kind of fun, you know, um, it started with working with a friend who also lived in Northport. So it's it's almost the same at this point. And were you just kind like, of graduated. Were you like, well, COVID hit. It's January 1st and I have a baby. So the dad bods in. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, listen, the dad belly is still there. Don't let don't let the other slightly bigger muscles fool you. The dad belly is still there. But like, man, yeah, my legs used to be very twiggy and they've uh, they've gained they've gained some mass. I'll tell you, it's good to have extra mass these days because babies are heavy. He, Lucas got so heavy, especially when you, he's like cries when you put him down and you're holding him like all day. Like babies are heavy. You're going to have a baby. Do some working out and those, uh, you know, mom has got to do the, the heavy lifting. Well, you need to end. do the squats but with the baby. Like you just, you know. We were saying that. He's like, he's a little kettlebell. Yeah. He's like, you know, <laughs> one hand, this, this, oh, that, lot, squats. She was doing squats with him yesterday, just kind of joking around. And he was all giggles. It was the first time I've seen him giggle since he contracted the virus. Well, I'm sure so awesome that. Because like, he's like going up and down and that's so mutually cute. beneficial. Um, so. Before pandemic they used to have um classes like mommy and me classes like right. exercise i never did, did the exercise <laughs> classes i would do the regular like mommy para, uh, mommy and me parachute stuff right um but yeah i'm sure there's plenty of stroller classes and things like that for yeah, right. uh, those moms and dads to get involved in it's it's obviously having even a little bit of time and i i don't want to i don't want to regress with all the work, hard work I've put in, it's been a lot of work. Um, you don't want to regress and you don't want to, um, you know, I don't know. You, you want to stay healthy. Like I have this added incentive to stay healthy. And we were talking uh, last week with Steph about this, about how, you know, you want to be healthy for your kids too. And I think to also be in that mindset and portray, because they're a sponge at this point, you know, they're going to be picking up on every little thing. So yeah. to, to, to just get in that mindset of, of, of health and overall well-being, I think that's an important thing to pass on to your kids, you know, so they, they kind of take that with them. And that's what I said like last week where I said I wish that I was in that mindset where I could take a step back and have been like, no, you need to take this time for you too, even if it's just oh, a little bit of time because it, it took me so many years and I'm still struggling with it um, to do me time and take care of me because if I'm not good, then I'm not going to be good for my kids. And it sounds, you say it and it's like, that makes sense. Yeah. But to do it, it's, it's a difficult, I'll say it's, it's, it's a difficult thing. Um, you've, well, at least for me and maybe like, it's more of a, a mom mindset. And I'm not saying the dads are, are selfish at all, but like, no. you know what I mean? I get like, you. Just like, I get you. Yeah. It's just like, you know, 
I almost feel like I should always be putting myself last, 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 last right. because I have all these, you know, and, and to a sense, I truly believe that in my heart, but also I do need to take care of myself. So it's, it's a weird, I don't know if anybody else struggles with that or had struggled with that message me because it's such a relatable thing and mm. we can help each other, you know, right. in, in that sense. Right. I sound so, I sound so, yesterday I was talking like this though. So yeah, I was like, you want to record like, today? She's like, I don't think that's an option. <laughs> yeah. She wanted to record it like a couple of days ago. I was like, Oh yeah, no, I can barely speak. Yeah. But yeah, that was my second point is that I want to try to give myself this time because it's a healthy thing. It's not like I'm going out and drinking beer and hanging out with my friends. It's a it's a healthy thing for me. It's not only physically healthy, but mentally, mentally healthy. Yeah. Give yourself a break. Let those endorphins fly. And but, but of course, it's becoming harder because, you know, you've got a job, you've got a family, you've got, you know, to give the, the extra time to the baby in ways yep. that you didn't have to before. So it's, it's a challenge. And you, it's just a constant juggle. That's all it well, is. Well, I will say too, I know that you, you're home, you've been home for the, the week because of your the COVID situation. In right, your today house, was kind like, of the first day. B- yeah, broke out but, a commu- bit but to commute to the city, to then work X amount oh, of hours, yes. to then come home and not for nothing, but like at that point, you just want to be home with your family and to dedicate the time to do that, that, yeah. That's a lot, you know, that takes a lot. Um, I even started getting up before, way before the sun, like almost like me and you, like back on the weekend shift uh, hours wise, you know, I was setting alarm that early, which is like so funny because I just got off that shift. Yeah. But, like I was setting the alarm close to getting into that territory just because I was like, there's no way I'm going to be coming home off the train and want to then go out to the gym. Yeah. Like I just, I'm going to want to be home with the family. So I was getting, and and it's so much harder too, because you got to ramp up. Like I liked working out towards the end of the day because you're into it and you know, maybe an extra cup of coffee around two 30, but like you're into the day, but to wake your body up early like that. And like, you're going almost going into the gym cold. It made it so much harder, but I was like, when else, when else am I doing it other than the weekend? I guess too, like that's a good idea to have those mats that you drove. Where, where yeah, is this just place? So, I, so I have a place to like, you yeah, know, like because it, it's easier to do too. that. Um, you know, maybe twenty minutes here, ten minutes there, then drive. Even though you're not that far right. from Northport, but like you're 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 dedicating an hour and a half of your day. And to be honest, like. And I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to stir you, from, you know, steer you from not having you time, but. I, I, I totally understand the place that you're coming from. Some days it's just not going to be feasible. It's not going to be no. an option or I'm yeah. just not going to want to leave the house. So like to be able to go down there and yeah, like honestly, obviously I don't, I'm not going to have a spotter. So I'm not going to go in there, try to get my personal bests, just, uh, just some, uh, some equipment to, you know, just do a little bit. And especially if something frustrating happens, it's great, great when the wife is yelling at me to uh, pick, pick it up and, literally pick it up pick it pick that up do that and you're just like i need you you just need to buzz off for a little bit and cool off you know you run down there and uh do some stuff you got do you have a little place in your house to like do stuff like that i have no place in my house for anything (laughs) (laughs) everything is the kids Everything they claim everything. Is the kids, and if it's not claimed by, the, I'm like looking at around my house right now, like, and nope, it's nope, 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 <laughs> um, no. That's funny. And it was so funny because like we have a colonial, and a couple years ago we renovated the first floor and we knocked down all the walls, put a beam in, you know, so we have this open concept. Yeah. And now it's like there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> There's nowhere to like really throw the stuff and hide it. Yeah. Um, so you'll see. But I will say um, we finally, then uh, f- you're going to be in the stage for a very long time where all the toys are going to be upstairs pretty much. You know what I mean? And like yeah. all over the place. I have a very, I only have a half basement in my house. Um, but at least we got the toys 
right. in the basement. Um, right. And some stragglers come up and whatever. But now it's the clothes because they are in all these activities. And so it's the school clothes. And then they take the school clothes off and they throw it on the floor and they put their uh, soccer or lacrosse clothes on. And then when they come home, they take it and... You know, they just, they don't care. And as much as I yell and try to be whatever, um, it's just, it's just, it's just chaos all the time. And then I'll clean and it'll feel good. And then there'll just be mess everywhere. It's just, it's, 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 but I'm complaining about it now. And everybody says, take a step back and just enjoy it. (laughs) But it's easier said than done when you feel like you're just like drowning in chores all the time, you know, where I just like, I, I, I don't want to spend four hours every day picking up after everybody. <laughs> it sounds bad, but like, it's like, I mean, we I mean, cooking, <laughs> clean, like we, we, we kind of had an idea what we were getting into here. You know, every, every family does. And then you're like, it, it that's just such a, it's such a crazy thing to, it, I think it's the most selfless thing. One of the most selfless things you can do to say, I'm bringing this little, little man or little lady into the world. And like, they are the new King or queen of the castle. And like to be able to just selfishly take a step back like that and put them to the forefront. It's really like a, it's really an amazing thing. You know, that I I feel like is, I feel like, I mean, not, it's not for everybody, but uh, many of us, it's just kind of like an ingrained thing. And you don't even really think twice about it until you start talking about it like like this and philosophizing about it and uh, being like, wow, yeah, it's really, it's like, the, it's, it's incredibly, I, I heard something on the radio today. Um, it was like, it was one of the uh, college radio stations, I think, and they were doing like a radiothon, like, and I don't know if it was a quote, from, it sounded like it could have been like a Gandhi quote, like it was like the most selfless thing you could do is something for like a fellow human or like for animals, so, something along those lines. And, you know, I think that's, I think rearing a child is right, right up there with it. So. Absolutely. And it's funny because you like try to like, when, when Lana was pregnant, I remember talking to you and being like what your life was at that moment, you know, before having never be the same, you know, and and you'll be like, I don't even remember. And I don't even ever want to go back to that because as much as this is the hardest job, it's so stressful. You're terrified of everything. <laughs> it's just like the most amazing part of life, you know? And I'll tell you too, and something for, for you to look forward to just because my kids are older now, nine, seven, and five is just as much as like Jojo's nine. I can't believe it. And it like oh, makes me want to cry. Like it does because I'm like, where did almost a decade go? Because I remember him at like Luca's age, but now I'm, on the field, cheering him on, watching him develop as an athlete. He's in student council. He's doing great in school and all, and the other, Aubrey's doing great too. And they're turning into these, you know, these people that are in each one of them are so different. And you're just like, wow, you know, like that's a part of me out there becoming their own person. But like, it's just, it's, 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 you know, just in, enjoy the ride. Everybody says like, it goes so fast. And like, it does like, what did they say? The days are long and the years are short. And it's like it, every, I, wow. I always have to, the deep. days are long and the years are short. It, yeah. it is deep, you know, but it's so true because some days I'm just like, Oh my God, I just need them to go to bed. Like I can't do this anymore. <laughs> there are, you know, any, like, listen, uh, I'm going to be honest, you know, like I can sit here and I can finally like be honest. Like I don't need to be a hundred percent happy all the time because that's not, that's not life. You know what feasible. I mean? But like it's not feasible, especially as uh, you know, uh, an adult, a parent, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, in a marriage, like everything, you know what I mean? Like just, Try, you know, trying to find a job, build a business, whatever I'm doing now. But it's true. Like the days are long and the years are short. And you, you know what stinks? Like, which is great. And also whatever Facebook, when they come up with the memories oh. I'm com- and it's like five years ago on this day. And I can remember those memories. Like it was yesterday and it's seven, eight years ago. And I'm like, holy cow. I cannot believe this. And it I, makes me smile, but it makes it like breaks my heart too. 
Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's a weird, it's a weird emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I listen, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was on my sister's, uh, Facebook page the other day looking for, cause, uh, you know, she lives in California now. Uh, so we don't get to see each other as much. We don't have as many pictures. So I was like, let me look on Facebook and find pictures that we were tagged in together, um, for national sibling day the other day. And in doing so, I came across this album from, I believe it was 2009. It was when we both volunteered at a camp that was out on Shelter Island. And they had campus camp adventure. It used to be an American Cancer Society camp. And they, I guess, kind of, I mean, they couldn't fund it anymore for whatever reason. But um, a couple of people who worked there, started their own charity, took it over. Because it was, it was the kind of thing where it was just like, you don't want this to end. Yeah. Uh, not to mention such a great cause. Um so it's uh, cancer patients and their siblings get to spend a week away from mom and dad. Mom and dad get a break, you know, no medical, tr- you know, treatments. I mean, there are, there are doctors nice. and staff, so they do treat, but like, you know, they get a break from the hospital, they get a break from everything. And it's just such a cool event. And it was, I mean, there's not too many places where you're surrounded by people in just such the same mindset as you selflessly giving their time just like you a lot of these people you know had a a week of vacation a year and they used it on that and just just people who just want to give their time and just be there and and you're you're it's literally on an island i mean we're on an island to begin with but it's another island it's a smaller island and you just kind of you're so i would remember i'd come home from a week there and it would like, I'd get kind of like, you know, that full, like kind of choked up feeling. Cause it's like, it was such a back to reality, like snap. And you're like, you know, wouldn't it be amazing if that were real life? Like, I'd like to think if there was a heaven, like it would be like that, like where you would just be around. It's just so much love. Sorry to sound like a, you know, <laughs> a little hippie here, peace, love, but it was just, you surrounded by so much love and you're there for, to give these kids the time of their lives just to make them forget about everything else that's going on. All the serious, you know, heavy stuff that they have to go through at such a young age that is tough for full grown adults to deal with, let alone to be that age to deal with it. But uh, I digress. Um, We came across this album and it was like us and the other counselors. And there was a couple of um, pictures with like the kids in the background. And I just got choked up. I was like, probably shedding a tear or two it just brought me back and i was like man of all the craziness in life that i'm going through it's it's um <laughs> i always attribute it to the office because that's where i heard it first i think it's probably been a quote that's been adapted and someone famous said it and but it was like along the lines of you never really know when you're in the good old days until you've left them and it's yeah. I, I it's like if i could bottle that feeling of being at that camp and like mass produce it, I would. But you, you can't know what do the that. Good, but in the future, when you have time, you can create those opportunities or moments. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, yeah. there's plenty of, you know, kids going and families going through that now or you could, you know, help to yeah. spread some joy and whatever. But that's 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 awesome and that's wonderful that you know you guys do that too um so it was it was never even like a second thought yeah granted i was in school uh uh, some of the years where i was volunteering i was a college kid so like the the, you know the the value of of your off days or anything is less um but there were there were several of years where i was in the working world and i you know to use those vacation days you almost don't even think twice about it. And I think one day towards the end when I stopped going for the whole week, I was like, man, like, it's crazy how like you, it's like not even an option. Like you just do, you don't even think about like, Oh yeah, I'm giving up all my time. But I think that's because we had so much fun doing it and you know, we enjoyed doing it. Not to mention it was just a beautiful place too. Just yeah, calm, so calm and serene and you're alone with like your thoughts and you're alone uh, with this awesome group of people, just good people all around. Um, and, and you think about that and you're you're like, yes, I'm going to always have that give back mentality and, and volunteer mentality. 
but like, will it ever be the same as that? And it's like, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful thing that we have had. I mean, imagine 10, 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Grainy photos. Like we have so many videos uh, and crystal clear photos that we can look back on to help us kind of recapture those memories. It's all we've got, but uh, it's nice that we have all those things. It's just, it's, it, it stinks because now you have to kind of like dig for them because they're in the, they're in the bowels of the Facebook servers, you know, and, and not, not always do you have instant access to them, but it's nice. Like you said, which kind of cut us off on this tangent when Facebook throws that and says, Hey, look what you were doing 12 years ago. It's, it's kind of nice. They're doing the work for you. Well, um, the one time I appreciated your gift of gab was telling that story right there, you being long winded, because that was very touching. And, you know, we, I'm sure everybody listening really, really, really um, appreciates that, you know, you volunteering and taking the time to, you know, touch some of these kids' lives and everything. We should probably talk more about that in another podcast. But I want to say, sure. we're, let's let's wrap things up. Let so let's encourage everybody to subscribe and like the YouTube page, and also listen and sub. Can you subscribe on Spotify, Amazon Music, yeah, iTunes, and absolutely, all that? Absolutely, you know, and set put a review R- up there us, too. Rate yes, us, yes, please give us a review of what you think. I mean, hopefully it's positive, but we take constructive criticism. Sure. Uh, you know, Jeff, I probably take it better than Jeff does. Less. Jeff, please talk less. Great podcast. Please, please talk less. Please put your voice in a, not a gab, but a B-A-G, a bag. I'm just kidding. Shut it. I'm Whoa. Just kidding. I'm trying, it's gab backwards. You want to um, hear a funny story? No, I don't want to hear any more stories tonight because it's time to go. You can I'm going to forget this. I'm going to no, forget no, 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 this. No, no, You're not going to forget uh, it because we're going to, we're, and so we're going to tell everybody too that we, um, in the near future, have some exciting guests line up. Yes. Um, and they, they're, it's a span of all different kinds of guests that are coming up. So we're really excited about that. We loved having Stephanie last week. So, yes. you know, we're working hard to, you know, just bring a little bit more entertainment and conversation mm-hmm. into the freaking weekend because um, we know you guys love that. So, a short short goodbye jeff and then i'll sign us off <laughs> no stories though it, it's been fun it's been fun i i almost feel like we you know you can never plan when you're gonna have like a bad day or like a hectic day but i almost feel like it brings out the best in us yeah like every Isn't time i'm like this day i'm a hot mess oh like, my god yeah happened. i'm wearing pjs yeah. tonight <laughs> i just I hair's like, in a bun um, yeah, yeah. Hey, but yes. this is mom life right here. Um, so we appreciate, yeah, everybody listening and we hope you have a great rest of your freaking weekend. Or have a happy Easter, weekend. everybody. Yes. Easter weekend. And, yeah. Yep, and yep, yep, uh, yep, yep. and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. And thanks so much again for your uh, subscriptions and following us and be sure to share with your friends and be sure to rate us next time everybody we'll see you soon bye bye see you soon bye